Well, speaking of travel, it is a huge part of the wedding planning process. Whether you're planning a destination wedding, you have your bachelorette or bachelor party coming up, or you're inviting guests who are coming in from out of town, travel and weddings, it goes hand in hand. So it is time to start planning because Sunday, March 1st is National Wedding Planning Day. And here to help us out, we have Jeffra Trump Power. She is the creative director of Wedding Wire. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Hey, thank you for having me. This is true. Anyone, anytime you plan a wedding, someone is traveling, whether oh. it's destination or not. Yes, absolutely. And actually what we're seeing is that a lot of couples are getting married in the place that they currently live. So more right. family is having to travel in. It's not just about, you know, destination weddings as being the travel to an exotic location. Sometimes destination weddings mean other people are actually traveling, including the couple to just the state next, you know, to where they live. Right. And yeah. something else we didn't even mention, honeymoons. Honeymoons. The couple's always traveling after yes, the wedding. Yes, they are. So honeymoons are still obviously a big part of the wedding. We're seeing that couples are spending about $4,500 on their honeymoons on average. Mm. And the primary locations are Caribbean, Mexico, and Europe. So that's not really changing. But what we're seeing is that couples are branching out on what they're doing at their honeymoon. So mm. they're not just sitting at a beach anymore. Right. They could be hiking up mountains or going skiing. It really depends on their personality. What I'm seeing on Instagram is it's a lot more like we want to have an experience rather yes. than just a relaxing vacation. Exactly. What about for bachelor and bachelorette parties? Are most people going out of town for those? They are. So we're seeing that the average bachelor party is about $1,000 per person. And the average wow. bachelorette party is $700 per person. I know, it's it's crazy. Per but person. But it's all about the experiences, yes. right? And so we're seeing couples want to plan their bachelorette and bachelor parties in Miami, Las Vegas, New York. And now we're seeing other cities like Orlando, Nashville. Nashville, yes. yes Dallas, Austin, those are also popping up as destinations. We talk about the destination wedding again. I know we kind of touched on it. When you're trying to get everyone to go to one location, any tips for people who are, are planning that kind of wedding right now? Yes, so plan early. Plan mm -hmm. earlier than you normally would and make sure that you're informing your guests very frequently. Make mm -hmm. sure you have a wedding website set up. Make sure you're constantly updating. Do your research on that lo locale too. Make sure that you understand like where the accommodations are, where places they can go out and venture out, and make sure that information is provided for them ahead of time. I also love this because who, there's a day for everything. What is it? It's National Wedding Planning yes, Day on I know. Sunday. Of course, part of that is getting your outfits ready yes. for, uh, for us as well. What are some of the trends? I know you brought two of them for both a bride yes. and a groom. So we have Raul and Claudia here, and Claudia is wearing a metallic gown from Lovely Bride mm. here in DC. And this is a, one, of, one of the many trends we're seeing for fashion. So these bold statements, we're seeing it in the sleeves, maybe colors. Speaking of colors, you see Raul in this emerald green yes. suit from the black tux. And is it this, velvet? It's velvet. It's actually velour. Oh, okay. But okay. what we're seeing is that the groom is making more of a statement as well. It's not just about the standard, you know, black tuxedo anymore. He wants to show his personality too. Do you think that the pop of color, can they both go for color? Or are you kind of, you're seeing one does and the other? You know what, as I think you can do whatever you want now. I think as right. long as it shows your personality, it doesn't matter. It's not about matching. It's just about really showing who you are. People are breaking those traditions. Exactly. Left and right. Where do we go for more information, especially as you're trying to plan this yes. weekend? Yes, so you can go to WeddingWire.com and you can help plan all of your thing, everything from your guest list. We have vendors in all locations across the United States. Very so, helpful. Yes. Yeah. And a timeline of how to get this yes, done. Yes, exactly. Checklist, timeline, everything. Thank you so much yes, for offering you. all this help today. Check them out. We'll be right back.